Hello everybody and welcome back to Alma and to my YouTube channel. As you noticed, I've taken over. It's uh, it's Beanie doing her little collab with Scroft, if you like, and he's basically trying to teach me how to play the game properly and I'm trying my best not to mess it all up for him at the same time. <laughs> Will you just stop bloody faffing? There we go. Stop faffing. <laughs> <laughs> You probably oh, did didn't, you play yeah. that? Yeah. No, I, it's really weird because I, I was like, oh, okay, you're not, you're not talking to me now, like, because it just, <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> no, I just, I just thought it'd be a nice thing just to add on the end. Stop faffing. Yeah. I could, I, sh I should have probably gone. True story. Oh, true story. That is, I'm true telling story, you. True story. True story. I was exactly. just like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna have a drink of me brew. <laughs> no, you did well with that intro. I think people, it just, you know, people are like that. Is said it all. Thank you very straight much. Straight to the point. So, can't go wrong. Who knows? I'll be taking you over, Scroft. <laughs> I'm happy I'll get some sleep for once. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Instead of just, huh? yeah, long nights. But anyway, we are back, back on Alma, door. aren't we? Yes, uh, we, we are. We, we, ha we have done a few things in between this episode and the last one. Uh, just to kind of show you what the plan is, kind of give you a bit of a head start so you can, you know, figure it out as you go a little bit less. Um we are going to be doing straw loading to, to, in this episode, so it's going to be interesting, at the very <laughs> least, to see you do that. Um, you have done all right so far, though, so it might be a big surprise on that, but it's obviously different to what you're used to. You're not just driving a, a tractor or a piece of equipment. You have been using the loading arms on the, the two tail handlers that we've got. So we are going to finish yeah. off that field, which is just bringing the bales in, putting them away in the shed. And then we have been mowing this alfalfa field, so you can see we're going to be making alfalfa hay. We've done the mowing. We've actually used two of the swaffers over here. We, I bought an extra one, so we did it together, which the was pretty fun. Things. Exactly, the, the frog things. <laughs> but that was fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. I did, to be fair. Once I got the hang of how to steer them, um, they were brilliant. Yeah, well, it was definitely. good. There's a few drifts going on, but that's always fun. So you can't, can't complain of drifting. Say? I'll be in Fast and Furious next. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can get some fast cars in the game. There's a few mods that have got some fast cars. You never know. We might just do some really weird spin-off at some point where we're doing drifts. Who knows? Like Top Gear meets Clarkson's Farm. Yeah. You know, just like yeah. a merge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to basically finish off two fields. The one we've started off with, bring the bales in, the straw bales, work on the alfalfa hay, then that's them two done. So you'll, you know, you've learned harvesting at that point, had a good taste for the, the baling side of the grass work and stuff like that, even though it's alfalfa. It's the same thing. We could use it for animal feed. We'll probably store it because you never know. We, we might move over to animals at some point, and that'll be good for you to learn. But it'll be good yeah. to get them two out of the way. Then I'm going to do a bit of course play work. So you'll notice a worker just kind of going past, doing us a favor for the next episode, hopefully, where we tackle the corn and the sorghum because we just need to get some fertilizer on that so we get a better yield. So I'm going to tackle that in between probably you doing a bit of the bailing if I do some windrowing or unloading, whatever whatever we get up to first. And then I'm hoping at the end of that, I had an idea where we could probably try and do some of the production straight away if you're up for that. Sounds like fun. So I'm thinking with the wheat we got, we can go and take it. You could drive the big truck, which will be interesting because mm -hmm. see if we can challenge it to do a few reverses with that, which it's not too bad. It's not like a dolly and you've done... Well, you tried the dolly, which is never easy, but <laughs> <laughs> this will be a lot easier for you. So we can take the big truck. I'll drive as a passenger in it, and then you can go up to the, I think it's like a grain mill, basically. It's, some, it's, it's something like that, where we just mill down into a flour. We're going to make some flour. And then when it's ready to pick up, we can go and sell it as flour. So we'll make a bit of extra money from it. Nice. So that's the plan. I think we should start off then by taking the bales in, because we did all right with it, I think, anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think you did a cracking job for your first time round of picking up bales. Thank you. I mean, I only tipped the thing over a couple of times, so yeah, I'll take it as a win. You didn't actually do that. Honestly, you did really well. Thank you. Yeah, you did. I mean, we stacked this up, didn't we, as a practice, because I thought it'd be better, you know, yeah. to give you a little practice go before <laughs> recording a video, because <laughs> then, you know, if it went, if it all went south, then I'm not, I'm, I'm be honest, I'm going to laugh my head off. I'm going to, I think everyone would do the same, so... <laughs> You know, there'd be a lot of stop faffing going about, so I thought, I'll give you a bit of a chance. <laughs> to be fair, I can't. I wouldn't blame anyone anyway. Yeah. 
So, yeah, just take one of the tally handlers. I'll go do the same. We'll pick up in threes again. We're using these uh, straw harvest pack. These are new, these are. Uh, the straw harvest DLC, that uh, video that you saw me do. I did a, a, a sneak peek kind of video, first look at uh, Creative Mesh's um, yeah, straw harvest pack. So these these grabs that we've got on the front where they're picking up three at a time, that's from that kind of like mod pack, which they're, they're brilliant, man. They were in FS19, so... They've, they're very good, man. I really do rate them. Oh my god. Um, just trying to remember how to do this. It's been like nearly a week. I know. Uh, that's down. You just take your time with them first three. Remember, just kind of like oh. when the tip I give you with lifting up and then kind of giving it a bit of a nudge so you know it's level and then just dropping down and you press left back and X to uh, pick it up and well, let's grab it and then it's left back and Y to unload them but you don't need to worry about unloading them until you unload all three yeah now I am actually using a, a controller with you I'm fully gone controller just so I can help you out if I do need to give you a bit of you know advice on the controls yeah, I find it easy you. as well if I'm running that instead of on my steering wheel so mm -hmm. I've gone to the controller as well so we're both using Xbox controllers now nice um Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. They're very cool, aren't they? How they work, how they can just grab a bale. Yeah. I love telehanders because the, it's the fact that they're all wheel turning for me. They just make it just a lot easier, especially on a tight yard. So you, like Most UK farms have got tight yards, and the little telehanders is just so much easier than having, you know, sometimes like a, even a small front loader tractor. They just, because of the fact they turn all wheel. Yeah, you can uh, maneuver them a lot better. Yeah. Most important thing about this video, I think we should make it a ritual to have a brew. And we've started off both with a cup of tea. Yeah. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with a cup of tea. Yorkshire gold as well, so. Exactly. You know. The fuel of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can disagree with you there. I mean, yeah, it's the only acceptable brand, as I've since learned. Yeah, that's my fault though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> to the dark side, exactly. I think we'll try and just stack the green trailer up to about the same level as the black trailer behind it. So, two, two, I'd say two high, two rows high, basically, just so we yeah. don't overload it. Because tipping over a trailer with bales on is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, What's I'm in just the gonna go. One? Say again, sorry. Worse than the grain. Yes, much worse because there's so much weight on it, and uh, sometimes even with super strength, it can just be really problematic. I uh, really, oh god, yeah. okay, no pressure, no pressure at all, honest. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> right, I'm gonna go and just quickly set up the uh, case that I've got with the sprayers on, and then that can crack on with fertilizing this ground for us. Shouldn't do any crop damage. Yep, that's good. So I need to do a course. Now, at some point, I will show you the course play side of things in Autodrive because it's really useful to know, especially as you're playing on my laptop downstairs on the PC. So I know you PC play right now. So yeah. it just makes sense to to show you that because it is really useful. Oh, can you only get it on PC? Yeah, script mods. They're called script mods. So anything that kind of changes the... Usually a script mod is... It's, it's difficult for me to describe what scripts are, basically, uh, <laughs> without going to the point. I just don't think you'd want to know all that information straight away. Um, but a script mod is a way of changing the gameplay or usually adding something. It's not like a mod or a tractor or something that's already implemented into the game. It changes it. So, you know, it's it's uh, obviously people that can do scripting. Like, like as in like, um, I want to say nerd stuff, but that's not what the, I'm looking for. Um, nerd stuff. You know, like You're doing coding. nerd stuff right that's now. That's it. <laughs> coding. That's what I meant. <laughs> it's it's scripting basically. It's like uh, coding is technically in just standard mods anyway, because coding's just you, you know uh -huh. a lot of it reads off coding through XMLs and stuff. But the scripting is a little bit more like you, to do scripting. You have to. I mean, I, I haven't got a clue about it to be honest. Like how to start or learn to, to eat anything about uh, scripting. I'm I'm very kind of like, you know, noob to that level, I'd say, the, at best. Um, 
But, you know, it's very... I mean, the game-changing mods, all the best mods are script mods, and they're, unfortunately they're only on PC. So, uh, okay. Yeah. But um, course play and auto drive is two separate things. You can think of course play as like a, having a, an AI worker on the farm that can do field work. So anything in a field like baling, like we've done mowing, harvesting, yeah. anything like that. You, whereas you can see auto drive is like a network for roads. So it's, it auto drive is a way of getting from point A to point B, basically. Okay. Uh, and you can kind of record it yourself as well. So it's really good. But the best thing is when you use them together, because course play and auto drive together are like inseparable, oh. really. Yeah. Right, so let's go from first uh, waypoints. Are you okay over there? Yeah. Uh, yeah? I definitely didn't nearly knock all your bales off the trailer. <laughs> right, so I'm having a bit of joy, I think, with this course play and auto drive. How about you? How are you getting on? Uh, all good. Uh, yeah? I just accidentally um, knocked... Oh, oh. Whoops. Um <laughs> I knocked a bale off trying to put the bales in and then trying to put the bale back on that I knocked off, I knocked the taliander over it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a mare, to be honest. Yeah, and I can't figure out how to blooming twist this thing. Right, if if I was you, I would Um use super strength just to try and make your life a little bit easier. I am, but I've rotated it the wrong way like it rolled. So now yep. it's like the wrong way around if that makes any sense okay like it's going horizontally instead of vertically oh no and now i'm pushing oh my gosh i might need your help i just nearly okay. pushed them all off the trailer <laughs> right i'm coming over two seconds can i use this one to push it back on what what are we trying oh. to do here oh no no just drop the bell <laughs> drop the bell <laughs> what has gone on what have you done there you go. I tried to fix my mistake and then made a few others. When you think uh, about it, it doesn't matter, does it, that it's oh. like that? Because the, it's still the same height, really. Is it? I don't... Yeah. You see, this is what I can't <laughs> figure out how to throw <laughs> um, And there we go, now it's going the right way up. Oh, no, don't... Are you serious? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when I tried to do this before to me and you, it was fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't do too uh, bad of a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Faffing now. Faffing now. <laughs> right, I'll tidy it up. Just try your best to not knock them down. Also, you can okay. strap them. Do you remember? I showed you how to strap them to the trailer. So you could technically strap these down if you feel like you're going to have a chance of knocking them over. Well, so I didn't then, think I was going to because I didn't last time, but now yeah. it's all just gone kaput. Right, so what I'll do is I'll strap these down just in case, yeah, you know, okay. you have a bit of fun. Right, I'll go and see no, if I'm that sure. thing works. I'm hoping it's works. It's probably not, but we'll find out when I get to it. Okay. He's still driving around. He's not. He's not refilling from Phil... Furt. I don't know why. He's actually doing a few loops right now. Alright. Um, I'm trying to figure out because there used to be a, a refill option within within auto drive, but I can't find it. I can only find load, but load doesn't seem to work as well. And then I'm now trying pick up and deliver. But I know you can use auto drive to take uh like any vehicle to go fill up from a certain point. So if it's fuel or yeah, liquid fertilizer, however, so as long as it goes through the trigger, it'll do it. Right, okay. That probably didn't make much sense, did it? Well, is the trigger like the little blue things that you see floating around? Yeah, they're technically triggers, yeah. There's like a box, an invisible box, and if they drive through that, then it should work. But I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, I'll be honest. I'm going to see I'm gonna see where he drives to next. It's, uh, it's definitely a weird one. He needs to stop faffing. He does, you're right. To be honest, though, this is this was an auto drive route set up by a, a, a YouTube. Well, he's a YouTuber, but he does an auto drive routes. He's called the Auto Drive Guy. Um, now I've changed a few things, so some of the routes that he's done 
um, I need to customize like this one here I've put a shed down and it's very close very close <laughs> to the shed he's, in fact he's just hit it oh dear I know but what I don't get now is he's driving through the trigger he's even slowing down to the trigger yeah um I'm not really getting any he's a trigger unhappy I know yeah he's, he's, dri he's driving off again so I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to do this manually, unfortunately, and then just set the course going. I'm going to have to refill it until I can figure out why this is happening. Because it looked like it was about to do it. Yeah. And then I can actually come and help you a bit more instead of faffing about over here. Okay. Uh, um, no, stop. <laughs> you sound like you're having the best of times. Oh, definitely. I, uh, I really enjoy this. Uh -huh. Wow. What is he trying to do? Just uh, put them three bales on again. Yeah. Right, you need to no. remember small adjustments, just small little adjustments on your analogue so, you know, it's not too sharp because it is quite um, a fine touch kind of job, if, if that makes any sense. You know, just fine oh. little touches. Bugger. Did you just say bugger? No. Very hey. Cheeky bugger. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I loaded them on and then I didn't realise there wasn't space for the last one, so it just fell off the end. Fair play. I'll come and help now. Anyway, Scoot I'll come out the way. Because I think, uh, yeah, we don't want to faff about too much doing this. We try and get a few other things done. As soon as I've started this guy off and I know it's working. Oh, I don't... Right, so we have fertilizer going down on the ground, which is great news. Ew. I know, finally. Right, I am coming over to the telehandler now. What's what's the crack? I got. I think I did an all right job with them. Yeah, you did a really good job. So you've got that one just hanging over the edge, yeah? Yeah, well, off the edge. Yeah, it's fine, we can, we can add that too. I'm gonna go get another three down this side. Okay. There isn't that many left, really. We can um, smash this out now. Okay. I mean, to think about it, we've been recording for probably about 20 minutes, so... Really? Yeah, so it's not too bad, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's all. taken a while, though. Really. Uh, I'd say, yeah, because the, you know, the episodes can't be too long. Maybe about an hour. Yeah. Your faffing's rubbing off on me. Well... I mean, I personally think you faff more, but people in the comment section last time actually said say. that I faff more, but I think then yeah. people obviously faff even more than me and you combined because of what they said, so. <laughs> Potentially, but <laughs> I don't know. You know. No, I don't I, know. I don't. Didn't lie to me. <laughs> I was going to say, happy wife, happy li uh, li li life. Um, is that a word? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just nearly uh, capsized. Capsized? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's the first time I've ever heard shipping terminology <laughs> in Farming Simulator. What can I say? I'm just uh, that original. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I hope that will be alright. Should be, if you're happy with it. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about that singular bale. We could probably, it's probably wiser just to put them on at the end. So we can just throw them on top, can't we? Oh. No. There we go. I did it! Well done. Thank well you. Done. Go get another three. Hey! It's a never-ending game. <laughs> I'm not completely useless. What are you doing? Oh, I thought that was three bales nice <laughs> lined up for me. Oh, how do you... Hey! I can do that. God, that's hard of me is. Yeah, we need a bit of a rear weight on these, because they do like to tip, don't they? These are heavy bales. Yeah. 
capsizing. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little bit tricky, but we should be alright, I think. I'm thinking we might just unload the one and sell one of the trail loads. So if you want me to do the unloading, you can go and sell a trail load of bales. Yeah, sure. Why do I have to go? Uh, we'll have a look in the shop. I'll show you how to figure it out because uh, okay. basically we want to try and get the right price or the best price. So yeah, you know, that, that's determined by yeah the shop. Basically, the place you're going to tell is it, sell it. Sorry, is determined by the best price that we can get for it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how many sell points there are for bales on them on this map. Um, normally we get a couple at least. So I'm hoping there's you know we, there's at least two for us to choose from. Yeah. And we can make oh. a bit of cash. And then we can crack on with the alfalfa. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I've got the last three bells. Because that one's quite heavy now, I'm going to put it onto the other trailer. And then I think we split it pretty well there, then. Um, yeah. Unless we want to sell more. We don't really need to keep that many. Uh, would you be happy driving that green trailer with another three bales on it? Yes. Yeah? Are you sure? You just have to take the corners quite slow. Because uh, they do tip over <laughs> really easy, bale trailers do. And I promise you, before we finish on this series, you'll have tipped over a bale trailer. <laughs> like, it's it just, sounds about right. It's inevitable. Parkour. Parkour. Hello. I've left a bit of a gap there, but let's oh. see if I can sort that out. That's my bad. Uh -huh. yep. That's better. That's it. To me. Right. So to what you. I want you to do now is bring up your game menu. Yeah. And if you go. Obviously, the first tab on the left-hand side is your map. Yeah. Then you've got Precision Farming as the second one. Yeah. Then you've got a loan system. Yeah. Then we've got, like, workers and course play and all these ones. So if you go down past the okay. three that say CP. Yeah. And then you'll have a little calendar. Yeah. So that shows you, like, your crop calendar when things can be planted and harvested. Okay. So we can go into that, like, when we start doing field work and planting for next next harvest. Great. Um, can you make wine? You can, you can, yeah. Is a is a, a production, so you Ooh. could we could put some uh, vines down um, and have our own little vineyard if you really wanted to. But mm -hmm. I know what you'd be like. You'd just be sitting in the back. I'd be doing all the work, and you'd be drinking all the wine. That sounds like a fair deal to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one's it. wet. Say again. I'll, I said I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> fair play, fair play. My God, it gets cold in December. It goes to minus forty three Celsius. What? I know. So, frosty. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we got weather. Next one down is, ta is our stock check, which is a mod, but it's really useful because it tells you how much we've got of everything. So you can see that we've got 295,000 litres of straw. Um, we're going to keep some of that, and then we've got 73,000 litres of wheat, so we're going to take that later on. But it gives you – this is a good one because it will give you the information on what we've currently got, made, whatever. It also tells you the, the best time to sell and the best month and, uh, and also – the best price, sorry. So you got the best month, best price, and it will also tell you the location. But what I'm going to do is just show you as if you didn't have that mod. Okay. So if you go down one more, you see it's like three bars. It looks like a like a bar chart within like Excel or something. Prices. Yep, prices, that's it. Yeah. So what you want to do is find straw because that's what we're selling. Why isn't it alphabetical? That is a really good question. I don't know. Uh, I think it's on... Like products, so it starts off with like crops. Then you'll go to your your base game, kind of like feeds and stuff like that. Kind of moves on to production stuff, and then at the end you'll always find the extras that are thrown in by either DLCs, the map mods, whatever. Uh, yeah. So I mean, again, you could sort things out alphabetically, but I don't know. We we can figure it out. You you just get to straw. I'm at straw. Cool. Right. So if you click it, and it'll highlight blue. Yeah. And then on the right hand side, you'll see two places that we can go and sell yeah livestock bale sell point or sedala sedalia 
something like that. Yeah, I don't think we can sell to that one because I think that's train. We'd have to put it onto a train and take it if I'm certain. Let me just check that, but I think the sell point for that is a train line. Do chill. Yes, it is. So we're not going to do that. So we need to take it to um, the live stock bail sell point. So if you click on that and then at the bottom, you'll have an option to tag place. Yeah, I've tagged it. Cool. So now if you go come back out the menu. Yeah. And then just look over in the distance. Oh, I can see like the beacon. That's it. Exactly. Batman. Bat call. Exactly. Jerry's <laughs> in the house with his Batman call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so all you need to do now is strap up everything so it's all nicely secure on the trailer. Remember, you are hauling quite a lot of bales there, so there is a, a chance it's probably going to tip up on a corner. And then you need to plan a route, um, especially if you don't know the map. So, I mean, okay. I can help you do it, but I, I am confident you can work this out, Beanie. I really am. Yeah, I did my Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> there you go, then. <laughs> there you go. That really does help in Farming Simulator <laughs> so much. <laughs> Going um, camping with your friends at school. <laughs> yeah, I did my gold, so... I didn't even you know. know, to be honest... Yeah, I, I was not the type to go and do that, I'll be honest. But anyway, <laughs> stop faffing, love, right? We'll sort this out, right? <laughs> so if you go to your map um, and then zoom out, where you tagged should be flashing. should be like just like coming in and out, highlighting in and out, if you get me. So just be flashing on the screen. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Right, so if you think where we are as the farm, you can plan a route with the roads on the map. Am I the circular thingy with the thing inside of it? an exclamation point or a one what uh i know it's moving no that's that's mo the worker that i set going right okay yeah you're um, in orange and you're like this you're just like a, a little mouse cursor kind of thing it's like just a triangle uh, looks like an arrow head yeah field so nine if you look at where you are now you could literally go across field nine to the road there then south then take a right big straight american road all the way to the end where that kind of town is uh, Alma. They don't have, and, they don't but, have bends, do they? Well, they do. There's the one there, but they don't have as many. They don't. I don't really think they have roundabouts. But yeah, everything's in blocks. And <laughs> I think, to be honest, it makes more sense. It's a lot easier to drive. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, are you alright planning a route, taking your yeah. time, getting to that sell point, and going to sell them all? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, if not, I'm sure you'll you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, fingers crossed, that's all I'll say. Yeah. I think you can do it though, Beanie. I really do. Um, I'm glad someone has faith in me. <laughs> just see it as Google Maps. You know, you know, you can use Google Maps. Just see it like that. It's Google Maps and you're planning your route out. Are you sure? I tell you to go right half the time. I'm, t uh, look, I'm wanting you to go laugh. <laughs> Uh, get my words out. <laughs> Can't even right. say them, let alone remember them. <laughs> I'm going to go and take this trailer. I think this trailer I can't strap down with anyway oh. because oh, it's I've actually an auto load trailer. Okay. I have a, uh, I've got it attached to having the bales. Yes, definitely. You yeah. can tell by the way you're moving it. You, are you in f first person? Yeah. Yeah, it might be a good idea not to go first person, just just because you might tip over. I, I mean, I just nearly tipped over these bales. Which Did is... A, yeah, I was dead close. Oh, dear. I mean, I went through a ditch. I mean, it lagged, but it didn't tip. Yeah, this bobcat's not happy at the moment. It's uh, hauling these bales up here, and it's really not meant to haul this kind. Um, I should switch over really to that big case, but I'm nearly there. I can do it. I mean, I'm going to Riverton eight miles per hour. Oh, I'm up to nine miles per hour. I can still see you in the distance. <laughs> can you? <laughs> it's good, though, because there's straight roads, and it's nice. If you're on a country lane, bendy, you know, kind of difficult track, and it'd be a different thing because you do have to kind of really uh, think ahead and obviously, you know, slow down, especially with bale trailers. It's always been a problem. Um, they just tip over so, so easily because there's a lot of weight on them. And they're just prone to tipping but it's good practice for it because of the fact that there'll be many times playing the game where you'll have a trailer load of something that's really heavy like a lot of grain trailers aren't you don't have that worry even if it's full because they're just a little bit more 
sturdy when it comes to hauling. Yeah. Bale trailers, have, yeah, they're just they're not fun. They're not fun at times. But I enjoy manual loading and unloading bales. Always have. Um, I think it's a good part of the game, really. I've uh, I've made my first corner and I'm still upright. <laughs> there we go. See, See? honestly, you can do this. I've seen you play now. Because when, when we first, you know, got together as, as a couple, you yeah. didn't do too much gaming, really, did you? And then I let you play the PlayStation 5 whenever you wanted to, and you actually took, you know, uh, took that um, as a bit of a challenge, I thought, and you completed... Which was the first game you completed? Oh, Red Dead Redemption Harry 2. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, that's it, yeah. It was Harry played. Potter and then Red Dead. Yeah, and you've been proper gaming recently. Yeah, I'm on Uncharted now. Yeah, Number brilliant. Four. All of them um, are brilliant games. You yeah. love Red Dead Redemption. Oh, it's brilliant. I really hope they bring another one out. And I'm praying it's from Sadie's, Mrs. Adler's point of view. I oh, mean, yeah. I know this is completely off topic, but I just think she's such a... Can I say... No, you can't. Okay. I think she's just such <laughs> a, a strong character and, you know, like a really impressive woman kind of thing, especially for those times, you know going yeah. up against all those men in the gunfights and all of that and I just think it would be very cool to play as her but I did cry a bit when Arthur died and yeah. he had to put down the horse. Hey, some people might not have played that you just give that all away. Spoilers! Um, spoilers! <laughs> no, I imagine everyone's played that by now. Whenever you say spoilers it just makes you think of River Song from Doctor Who. That's my nerd. That's my nerdiness. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Who. Do. I know you're a big Doctor Who fan. <laughs> Massive. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, you need to play Red Dead Redemption 1. That's the thing, because you keep going on about Sadie. I mean, she might be in Sadie. It's, you never know, she might be in Red Dead Redemption 1 and she might. Something might happen to her. Oh, Spoilers. No. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, no. yeah, or I, I know. Or I might be lying. I, I, I need to order it, to be fair. I've just, I'm enjoying that Uncharted, but I wanted to try it first before going and buying them just to make sure that I actually liked it. Yeah, well, I think that's a really good game for you because I do think, you know, you, you, you like, you'd you like the puzzle style to that game. Mm. And it is, it's got some really good puzzles in it, so it's yeah. not just kind of like a shooter game. There's, you know, there's more to it, there's more substance to it. And I, I my favourite games always have been, apart from like simulation games, because I really do like them, um, but always been storytelling, so like games like The Witcher, and I love Dark yes. Souls because they're just such a challenge. Uh, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, you know, you've seen me play. Oh my goodness, Alan yeah. Ring, and uh, yeah. Yeah, that looked difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm also going the right way here. How are you getting on? Good, just slowly but surely. Um, I'm going up a hill now, so it's a bit <laughs> slower, but I'm still upright, so it's a win. <laughs> there you go then. Well, I'm stacking these bales into the shed, and I've done three, three loads of three, so nine bales currently. Now, I'm just thinking of time. We've been recording for about 40 minutes, I'd say. Halfway. Yeah, so I'm. We've only got probably about 15 oh. minutes left. So what I'm thinking is we leave the alfalfa, unfortunately. We could do a bit of baling, but it's we'd have to do it on a time lapse, or we can go on a bit of a drive and then put uh, our grain into the productions. What was that? Sorry, it just lagged. Oh, sorry. It's the. I was saying we could we could do a bit of bailing, so I can do some windrow and you can do some bailing, and we can do a bit of a time lapse on it, or we yeah. can go and learn some of the production side with the the wheat, and you can have a bit of a drive over there because I think that'll probably take about 15 minutes of you know talking through and stuff. Uh, but we don't want it to be too long because you know it can be quite painful for people if we go over an hour. <laughs> I believe <laughs> listening yeah, to us far for an hour. Is oh enough. God, definitely. <laughs> Sick of my voice. <laughs> uh, um, whatever you want to do, I'm happy. Well, I think mainly anything that's teaching you different aspects of the game is good because the plan is, and I know we spoke about this, but it would be, I think it's a good idea to, to talk about it now, is I did a survival series, which you know about, and I haven't played yeah. on it for a while because of the fact that, you know, it's just there's so many other series that I'm trying to focus on. I want to try new maps and try out new things um, and I think doing a survival series with you would be brilliant because there's two people playing so it'll go along a lot faster so yeah just to let everyone know that is the end game that's the plan we're going to learn the game on Elmer then when 
your conference enough, we're going to move over to doing a survival series from, you know, start with nothing and we work up and we're going to build our own farm where you design part of the farm, I design another part of the farm. Yeah, I've been given chickens again. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. I think that'll be really good. I think people enjoy it as well because, you know, it, 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 the thing with survival series, they start off quite slow, but then when they get going, they are really good because you can see that you've, you know, you've earned it, you've started off with not much and you've ended up with like a farm that's, you know, thriving and doing well. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I think it's a good idea. I suppose it's nice, you know, your, your hard work pay off. Exactly, yeah, that's it. So we are on this to learn. This is just like a tutorial kind of learning pro, you know, process for you. And then we'll move over to this survival style series where you never know. I might even be able to ask Broder guy join us at one point if you want. We could even have three people uh, going on it. That would be fun. And then he can blame everything on lag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so I'm done with that. So what I'll do is I'm going to just have a quick fly about just to see if I can find you. Oh, I'm going past the bakery. Do you yeah. not have any donuts? <laughs> uh, it's a very good chance, I'll be honest. Yeah. But oh wait, I didn't can you actually buy them in game? What, donuts? Yeah. No, I don't think oh. so. Oh sorry, I thought I thought you that yeah, sorry, don't matter. What? <laughs> I think you might have driven past the store. Uh, you yeah, you definitely have. Gone. Oh, I can't. S so now uh, you need to turn around or reverse because it's it's behind you. It's over here. Uh, this will be fun. I've got you. Well, everyone in the video now is watching you reverse, <laughs> and there's a car behind you. Oh, it's there. Yeah. If I was you, I'd use that bit to your right now and just do do a bit of a, a U turn. So go forward yeah. a little bit. Oh, Give yourself a nice wide berth and. Take your time on the speed of it. Oh, there's some deer. The best thing to do is go outside cab so you can actually see your surroundings. Yeah. It's also, you know, it's easier while you're learning just to figure that kind of stuff out. So now you probably, if you, if you are outside cab, View, you'll see the green marker. Oh, I forgot you could zoom out. I was going to say, I, I couldn't see anything when I was outside a cab. Ah, uh, yeah. D pad backwards um, or down will zoom out. D pad yeah. forward will zoom in. Yeah, there we go. That's made it a lot easier. There you go. I was going to say, it's stacked so I can barely see over the bales. Yeah, remember as well. Yeah. You are in the US of A. So you're supposed to be driving on the right side of the road. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Stop faffing, Wehrman. <laughs> Will you just stop bloody faffing? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to turn right here, but kind of because you're in a big tractor, you know it, you know it works. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Just branch out to the left so you've got a nice corner to take. Because your trailer that's going to potentially hit... Yeah, nice. We've also got a vehicle coming. I think it's turning. You're all, you're all good. There you go. That's spot on, that is. Way. <laughs> now, them X's that you can see is because that's the edge of the map, so you can't go that way. X. Can you see two red X's? Mm, why? If you is just this... drive forward a little bit, you might see them. No? Okay, it doesn't matter. No. You've got invisible. Oh, there you go. You're back. Yeah. Oh, it's, I can yeah. see him now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's game settings. I think I've got a wider uh, field. Well, it's not field of view. It's the it's the edge. What kind of spawns into the map? I can see a, a bigger circle, just because yeah. it's more powerful system. So what you need to do there is you need to reverse the bales into that trigger. Reverse to, them in. Yeah. You need to un and then basically you take all the strapping off and they'll sell. Okay. So if I was you, I'd drive forward here. I don't know if you can just about see me. Yeah. Drive forward yeah. over here. Yeah. And then you want to reverse lock around the corner. You can do this, Beanie. I believe in you, honestly. <laughs> no pressure. But no where's pressure. the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you got apple crumble later. Not crumble popcorn, crumble? Though. Crumble crumble. Lovely bit of squirrel. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, a fair play. 
Fair play, that's fine. Work smarter, not harder. I know, uh, but you're off the you're off the you're off the track, aren't you? It's cheating. That's yeah, you need to go slower. Because oh. if you go slow you can control it a little bit more. So you need to straighten up now. Straighten up. Just dead slow and then now reverse. Uh Remember it's back to front? Yeah. Whether you're using a controller as well, it's the same. You want to lock it, you need to lock your wheel. So it turns and then straighten up now because you jack you're kinda like jackknifing it now. The trailer's hitting the okay. the tire. So you'll you'll get the feel of it, honestly. This ain't bad for your first go, I'm telling you. This is really good. Just little you know, just a little bit of acceleration. That's it. And then I keep going back. Now straighten up. So you want to straighten up the front of your tractor and drive forward. No, that's not. Oh, it's because I was doing it like looking at myself. Okay. That makes sense. I think so. You're looking at the back. So like I'm, my camera is positioned like above the front of the trailer, above the bonnet. Front of the trailer. I don't. Th I think I get you. So, like, if I was here, yeah. but up in the sky... Okay, yeah, so you're looking at the rear, uh, rear. You're looking from the front to the rear. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. What you need to do is... is It doesn't matter. I was just saying straighten up. Because if you straighten up at that point, it's just easier to get in and out. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, they're selling. They are. Making money. Dollar, dollar bill, yeah. Because I, I just wanted you to go a little bit further back, just because I knew them front bales wouldn't sell. Oh, oh, okay. So you um, need to try and very slowly just reverse backwards. <laughs> no, that's, that's forward. forward. <laughs> that's your laugh. You got some guy here. He's he's being impatient. He's just he's just walked through and said, "I ain't waiting anymore." There you go. You did it. All well done. Oh. All done. See, so you oh. technically made them bales, produced them, stacked them, sold them. So that's well earned money. All well done. So I think what we do now, Beanie, is we leave this here. Okay. We, we can sort out tidying up in between this one and the next one. And I think we go back. Because we've been recording for quite some time, it's it's probably better. To, <laughs> it's probably better. I was cheating. <laughs> well, someone's trying to jump on my head. <laughs> so I'm all right, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I think it's better to just go and get the big trailer. I'll come with you. We'll travel down. We'll go and take this to the production. So what I want you to do is is just tab over until you get into the big truck. The lorry? Yeah, the same thing, the, the lorry. Well, a truck's what you drive. It's a, it's a truck. We're in America, right? Oh, I'm so, sorry. It's all good. It's the same thing anyway. You are right. I can't believe this guy's still going in the field of sorghum. He's he's been spraying for ages. Is he? Yeah. Well, it's actually a lady worker. We've got a lady worker on the farm. Not not the only lady worker. Wow. Right. So I'm tabbing through now. Have you spawned into it? Yes. The right. Mac thing. Yeah. Okay. So Return I'm going to see if I can get in, which I have done. There we go. We're both in. So you need to um, take off the cover of the truck now to do that you're gonna you've done it there you go perfect <laughs> head of the game already now yeah. i want you to drive under that auger see that like red kind of pipe oh uh, yeah remember okay. this is a big trailer so it's going to move a little bit different make sure you're outside cab view yeah may as well just go around that's it just go around yeah. the circle wait smarter not harder <laughs> <laughs> exactly we have got Go on, sorry. Oops. I was just saying, I didn't know if I fancied reversing this one. <laughs> well, I think you should. I think the, the best thing in life is to not avoid challenges. Tackle them head on, because that's that's how you get better. Oh, touche. As George would say, I only play cricket. Yeah. Is that... <laughs> no, you, no you, you're not under that. You'll know, because it should give you an option. You're going to hit that, though, so I'm just straighten up. Like you're nowhere near that pipe at the moment, are you? You've gone too far over to the right side. So you need to reverse now. 
and you need to go further to the left. So if you just go like left now, in fact, I'll tell you where to just aim for me, right? Okay, now you've got yeah. two bins, so if you just drive a little bit forward, keep going, keep going, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now is just turn this on. Oh, I can start filling. There you go, go on then. Uh, wheat? Yeah, that's what we want. There you go, so we've got wheat coming out this big bin. It's going into this auger fed, kind of like pipe, and the pipe's feeding it into your front bin on that trailer. Yeah. So when that's full, it just needs to move forward, keep it straight. So straighten your wheels up. There you go. And then wait till that's full, because you'll see it on your menu. Just go to 100 and stop. There you go. Yeah. So then you can go to the back and fill that up as well. Perfect. So just let that fill up. I'm just going to go and set this course play up to another field, because he's finished off in the sorghum. So that's fully fertilised. <laughs> I know it was a big field, though. Done really mm. well. Yeah, massive. Oh, I got a bit of lag then myself. Because we're going to hopefully do some maize in the next one. But we're not going to be doing maize like maize silage. We're going to actually do corn. And we're going to take it for some productions. Because there's some really good productions for corn on this map. So we may as well make the most of that. Yeah. Right, I'm all full. So do you want me to just hang tight? Uh, Yeah. That is a rough course. Doesn't like it on this one, I'm telling you now. No? No. It's actually not used hardly any fertiliser for this. I'm still it's at 99%. <laughs> it's a good thing though, isn't it? It is a good thing, yeah, definitely. It's just a bit of a strange one. I'm, I'm Probably because it just didn't require that much. Yeah, this one's going down much quicker now. So it so was just... It just put it where it's needed, or...? Uh, technically, yes, because it basically works off the soil type, and each crop within a certain soil type has a, a required amount of nitrogen. So with it, that's precision farming mod. So basically, if you're corn in loam, you'll require, let's say, 190. Uh, and so it tries to add to that, to that amount, but then if you're in a different field, or so you're in a different soil type, all of a sudden it'll be different and it'll adjust to that, and it's just automatically applied. But you still have to drive through, you know, and you've got a width and you can see the spray happening and stuff. Yeah. Right, so what I want you to do now is yeah. open up your map. Okay. We're going to go to a production. Now, the production tab is, if you scroll right down just past the cow, you'll see a cow. And then after the cow, there's one that looks like three dots in a circle. It's the second one down from the cow. Production chains. That's the one. And yeah. you, we're, we're going to be make, making some wheat flour at the grain mill. So what we need to do is just find the, the grain mill. So if, again, if you go to your map and just find it on the map. Um, I've On the wheat flour, I said tag place. Yeah, that's, that's perfect then. Okay. Is it showing up for you? Yes. There we go then. Um, it is. It's over there. Yeah, I can see it. So yeah. where to go? So, same route, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Happy to go whenever you are. Okay, okay. So I want to come out of the yard and go right. That's it. You could try it in cab view if you want. I am. In it's good, in isn't it? Cab. It's a very cool cab, to be fair. Yeah, it's a base game one, this is. This was actually added in by giants within FS22. They had really? a new American truck called Mac, and there's a few of them. So I know a lot of the American players were very happy with this. Yeah? Yeah. I'd go right here, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do. We want to go out the front way, don't we, to get to that? Yeah, you're right, you're all clear. Sound. Um, so past the house, turn right, back onto the main road. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, so we're nearly here. You've done all right so far. You got there? Yeah. 
a lot that, easier to, to use than a trailer that's got a load of bales on. <laughs> Definitely. It feels more stable. <laughs> right, so you want to go in there. You see that shed that you're driving past? Oh, okay. Do I need to reverse <laughs> in? No, you can drive forward. You just Because obviously you tagged it, you should see a big green circle. Do you see that? Uh-uh. No, it must have gone when I lagged out. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, just make sure... Ooh, no one saw that, honest. I don't know what you're on about. Nobody saw nothing. <laughs> you clearly didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just, oh. I'd love to see the side of this trailer. If you want to just keep driving, it's, you know, it's all good now. Go on. It's giving me an option. Yeah, just drive forward a second, just just so you got the rear of the trailer. In fact, you're gonna. Oh, it's not a tipping trailer. Just stay there. That's right. So if you want to just drop the front, because obviously there's two compartments, you need to drop all the grain out of the front. So if you just open the thing, that's it, and just pop that in. That should be empty now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then when that's empty, just drive forward a little bit more to do the rear okay, compartment. Okay. Yeah. So you should just shift to the rear end and then you should get the trigger again. Yeah, there we there go. go. Done it. Job done. So when that's done, you can just turn the engine off and we can just finish off by sorting out the production side and, and activating it. So we're telling it to turn it into into the flower, basically. And then when it's all done and processed, we should get a load of pallets that spawn out just in front of this door here where these kind of like chevron uh, box area is. And if you can see it. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's our production. So if you click the, the little spanner icon... Okay. It should bring uh, you to the productions menu. Yes. And then wheat flour, because we've put wheat in, we have the option to make wheat flour. We also have to, the option to make them two at the bottom. I don't know if you can see a corn flour and fine corn flour. Yeah. They're obviously the new ones because of this map. It's like an American style map, so it's offering the what I think it's common in America to dry corn out and then and then obviously turn it into corn flour or fine corn flour. The, if we turn yeah. it into fine corn flour, it's even more money. So we're going to go down that route where we put it through actually two productions because we're going to dry the corn out first, then we're going to put it into this mill and then make fine corn flour, then we'll sell that, which will right. give us even more money because it's more, it's worth more. Okay. So if you go to the wheat flour option, just click that. Yeah. It'll, t it'll tell you the status, which is it's inactive, but we're going to activate that in a second. Also on the right hand side, it'll tell you like the incoming materials or basically all the quantities of anything you've put in there. So we've put in wheat, which is 40,000, which is what we just dropped off. Yeah. Uh, the one outgoing products is what we've got happening. Now, we've got it as spawning at the moment. We want to just keep it at that. It just means it'll spawn out in pallets when it's ready. Okay. Um, on the left-hand side, it also shows you the cycles every month. So within a month, it can do 120 cycles. But the recipe at the bottom where it says 150 wheat turns into 120 flour, that's yeah. one cycle. So it can do that 120 times within a month. Hang on. I've got it goes to 113 uh, bags. 113 bags. What? Wheat flour? Yeah. Are you sure? No, no sorry. Uh, yeah, I'd absolutely drop down to barley. <laughs> yeah. So. so that's just one cycle. So we can do that 120 times in a month. So it kind of gives you an idea of how long it's going to take to process process it through. Okay. So if you just press at the bottom, activate on wheat flour. Yeah. It is activated. There we go. So it'll start processing through now and we'll get some flour spawning out and eventually we can come pick it up and sell it. And I think the only thing to finish off on there is just having a look in the shop menu just to give you an idea why. It's just about what you're going to get as a return. So if yeah. you go to prices, find flour, um, which is, I'm looking at it currently. You can uh, also click, I'll wait till you get to flour. There we go, I've got flour. So if you click on that, it will show you like the the kind of the three... Uh, sell points. Yeah. But if you click show price fluctuations. Yeah. It also shows you like what time of year to sell it because you can see it's like a a graph that's just showing you the best time to the, the lowest time. So you can see the August and September like the worst time to sell it. January and yeah. February are the best time. So it says that really 1,240 is the best price you're going to get for flour in January. And now if nice. we go to, to wheat... 
in January is the best time to sell. It's around 732. So you're already making more money by turning your wheat into flour. Yeah. And that's pretty much the, the, the reason Productions is in. It's just to, you know, just to make the game a little bit more rewarding and, and adding new, you know, gameplay dynamics and stuff like that. Yeah. Makes sense. There we go. I think we've learned quite a lot. I mean, I hope we're not rushing through it and I hope it's not, you know, I hope you think I'm, it's not too much in a short space of time. I don't think so at all I think you know it's nice because yeah, I'm being able to learn kind of thing but it's not you know sometimes it can drag a bit whilst you're learning and yeah. then it just gets a bit okay I've got this let's move on to the next thing kind of thing yeah exactly exactly and that is the game though the amount of times you'll do something over and over again like sal- the amount of times I've done salvage bales and just over and over again but it's relaxing it's like therapy like I've mentioned before it's just a nice chill game and that's the, that's that's the good thing like- about it Definitely, you know, it's very, very relaxing. Very there we go then. I know we didn't get to do the alfalfa alpha hay bales, but we'll do them in the next one, definitely. And I might try and progress. In fact, we could do that in between, just because I would like to get into the corn and, and the other harvest that we've got, because that should be, you know, should be fun. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. There we go then. I think on that note then, this is where I'm going to leave the video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.